welcome to the TMT stock market strategy video for Wednesday, May 25th. Big explosive move to the upside yesterday morning right out of the gate at 9.30. Ran all the way up till about 11, I'd say about 11 o'clock. And we went sideways for four hours and we had a little pop up. And I'm going to show that to you on the uh, five minute chart. A uh, couple of really important things here. Do not get crazy about buying the market. This is just light week because we have uh, Memorial Day weekend. We're looking for that um, that reversal, which we did get. Um, now we're just gonna see where we're going from here. I would say if you made some money this week, pack it in and start fresh on Tuesday because the markets are closed for the Memorial Day a holiday here in the United States. Uh, I don't believe and I ab absolutely call this little pop at suspect to anything. I'm gonna show you why and I do believe that we're very close to a market top. The markets are made to fool the masses. We all know that. And the reason why the market is, is almost at its highs again is because they want to get, they meaning smart money, wants, wants to get all of the retail public and everybody bullish so they can start selling stock. Bank of America came out with their poll. Uh, of their own institutional clients, they have been selling into this rally for 16 weeks. 16 weeks that's a long time uh, and they've been selling since january so guys you know take a heads up be very careful here yeah if you want a day trade yesterday wasn't even a pullback to get in that's how uh, uh, that's how crazy that was and on top of it the s p the e-mini contract traded a little over a million shares and we were up uh, uh 30 handles off the lows that to me is not any type of conviction at all. Uh, a million, excuse me, a million contracts. A million contracts, just to give you, you can compare, is usually done with the pre-market activity right around nine, about 10 o'clock Eastern, and it's pretty much done. That's a million contracts. All day for a million contracts, guys, be very, very careful, okay? Uh, and I'm telling you, don't believe the hype here, all right? Use caution if you are, want to dive in and start buying the market and adding to your positions if you're a swing trader or investor. Um, I do believe maybe we get a little bit more push up, but I do think next week and the next couple of weeks, we're going to see the true market of what it is. Okay, so let's see that. Now, that's my technical view. Things can change and I could be extremely bullish in two weeks. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's get right into it. This is one of my favorite. I'm going to show you two really key important uh, charts here. Advanced decline with volume. Okay. Uh, and I showed this to you before. You see this rally? We had this rally here in January, right off the lows, all the way up. We had a beautiful, beautiful pop. We're above zero. What is happening now? We can't even get above zero on this move up. This is very, very um, nerve wracking. And uh, I would definitely be alert to tell what the breadth of the market is doing here. This is not good, and it would be totally nerve-wracking if I was a bull knowing what this chart is telling me, okay? Be careful. Next, another advanced decline now with no volume, but look at what's happening. We have the SPX down below, and you can see here we're barely, barely above zero, okay? Where, we're, where we were on all of these rallies, we were up above zero okay and now we're starting to break down breath of the market is breaking down be very very careful let's take a look at quickly some volatility charts spx versus the atr the average true range average true range it has not rolled over is starting to tick higher while this little pop we had yesterday okay as we move higher remember look on the vertical lines here we start to move up markets move down okay take a look at the vix dangerously close to a buy signal. I do believe the markets rally in the next couple of days. The VIX will close outside of the band. That will produce a sell signal. Back into the band will produce a sell trigger, okay, for the markets and a buy trigger for the VIX, okay? So be careful and let's see what happens today and tomorrow. Get ready because we will have um, a movement in the VIX uh, in the coming days. And if we are up, I believe, about eight, eight, eight handles right now. So the VIX is down uh, close to this area. Uh, a break and close below is going to get that sell signal back into the Bollinger Band. is going to produce the sell trigger for the markets and a buy trigger for the VIX. 
All right. This is why I'm, uh, I, I, I treat this as suspect. Let's take a look at the uh, five-minute chart. Absolutely, for me, no entry at all on the move up. Plus, don't forget, guys, we were um, we, we opened up like, if I had to believe, it was 10, 11 handles. And look what happened. All day sideways. And we had one little pop into the close. All day. Okay? We had a one handle range for four or five hours. And we just had this one move up. You can see all the candles, not one pullback. Okay? So if you closed your eyes and got long, sure, but that's not trading. Okay? Um, let's go right into the charts here, too. Spiders Daily. I mentioned to you guys, and I said, if this, if it's noticeable, the pattern is noticed by the pundits, and I've said it many times, it probably is not going to happen right away. Sure enough, Head and Shoulders, CNBC, Bloomberg, they're all, all of the um, commentators are talking about it. Obviously, it did not happen as of yet. Now, it's still valid, uh, but if it starts testing the head and takes out the head, uh, it's going to be an invalid bearish pattern, okay? And then obviously we'll be looking for pullbacks. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Uh, positive, we have negative divergence here as the market is moving higher. So um, just keep that in mind, okay, guys? Next, we're going to take a look at the transports. Our leader, where did it go yesterday? Nowhere. Another, another feather in the bear camp, okay? I am not a bear or a bull. I look at the markets and I analyze it and trade accordingly. Just letting you know, you could see this here. We didn't go anywhere. As of right now, there are a lot of sell signals in the market at this time. Russell, IWM, you could see the daily chart here. Um, head and shoulders, target 101.25. Uh, right at the head, at the right shoulder, uh, and it's approaching the downtrend line here. This is a long-term downtrend line, okay? Uh, more than likely should be met with resistance, okay, at 113.90, all right? And that's the IWM. Let's take a look at um, uh, diamonds, okay? And diamonds here up above the 50, still eh, right about right about above the 20. Um, but again, guys, uh, be careful. Don't get fooled about what's happening here. It's the holiday, light volume, as you can see, and um, you know they can manipulate the moves here. All right, uh, we started with a Brexit poll stating that it looks like they're not going to, um, uh, UK's not going to exit the Eurozone, and all of a sudden they rallied them up. Then we had some home sales that were good. Okay, that's great, but a 30-point rally? Uh, guys, come on. Uh, be careful. That's all I'm saying. Q's daily. Uh, you can see here now we took out the 200. That is quite bullish. The semiconductor index on fire rallied up above that horizontal line that I showed you a couple days ago. Uh, but again, a little bit stretch. We are overbought in the short term, uh, on the short term time frames, that is. So use a little caution. Yeah, like I said, you have a couple of bucks in today, tomorrow even. Uh, I wouldn't even trade Friday. Friday would be just basically a non-event, all right? So just be careful out there. I hope you're doing well, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.